All right, listen up, boys. It's time to fire up the time machine and take a trip all the way back to the early 1990s. We're talking today about one of the earliest wheel brands in the U.S. sport compact and tuner market. If you went to a car show, picked up a copy of Import Tuner RIP, or hit your local Friday night car meet any time in the 90s or early 2000s, you saw a set of these wheels guaranteed. Today, we're talking about Katana wheels. And before you say, wait, who? Let's do some of the YouTube stuff. Before we tell you everything you need to know about Katana wheels, we are giving you a set. One person who does the following is going to win a set of Katanas from your boys here at Three Piece. All you have to do is, one, go to our website link in the description down below, check out Katana's wheels and comment which of their wheels you like the most down in the comments below, along with your Instagram handle so we can find you and give you the wheels. We'll select one winner 10 days after this video drops. You'll also need to be following us and Katana wheels on Instagram. Both are linked in the description down below. Hello, we're gonna check. I'll find you. If you like our wheel history videos, also do me a favor and drop a comment down below with which brand we should cover next. We have a blast making these videos and wanna make the content that y'all wanna see. If you like the videos, do me a favor and hit the like button and the subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. We just crossed over 10,000 subscribers and we're so, so excited to have you guys all on board. Now, what the f are Katana wheels and why should you care? Well, before we can tell you about Katana, we have to fill you in on some backstory because things are kind of complicated. Way back in the early 90s, there was this dude, Ara, I'm sorry I'm mispronouncing your name, who came to the US to go to school to be an engineer. While in school, he started working at a tire shop to pay the bills. Even in the early 90s, college students were broke. Times never change, I guess. Anyway, turns out he really liked working at the tire shop. And so in 1991, him and his partners, Tony and Vartan, again, sorry, mispronounce your name, opened the first of their stores, which would later become American Tire Depot. Yes, that American Tire Depot. Anyway, these guys were selling a shitload of tires and they were like, huh, you know what goes well with tires? Wheels, big shocker there. So a wheel line was born. Technically like three were, but we're talking about Katana today. We'll talk about the other ones later. You know what else was happening in the early 90s? Sport compact and tuner car culture in the US was exploding. Dudes realized they could get an EF hatch, gut it, throw in an Accord motor, and take the baddest Fox body in town on a one-way trip to Gapplebee's for like $86 and a 12-pack. At the same time, car shows started to be filled up with these imports, spawning shows like Nopi, Hot Import Nights, Super Street Magazine, IDRC, and all kinds of other cool early 90s car stuff Then most of you are like, uh, what? Because you're too young to remember. As import tuner car culture grew, so did the demand for products that customize these cars. Back in the early days, there was very little to no aftermarket support for these cars in the US, and you couldn't just hop onto a website like Three Piece and order a turbo kit, wheels, tires, suspension, exhausts, and all that other good stuff. Everything came from a mail order catalog, yes I'm that old, and it mostly came from Japan and was super super expensive. So enter a brand like Katana. If you were into wheels at the time, you wanted Works, Volks, or SSRs, nothing changes there either. But guess what? You're paying for them and paying generously and waiting forever, way longer than today. Katana said, you know what? These guys want cool wheels, they don't want to wait five business years for them, and they cost too damn much. And so the Katana line was born. Being sold through American Tire Depot meant that tuner car customers now had a one-stop shop for wheels and tire. At the time, there wasn't a really well-defined style for these cars, so Katana did what made sense to them. They looked at the wheels people were importing from overseas and made a cost-effective replica version of those. Rep haters just tune out now, you're not going to care. Some of the early Katana wheels were replicas of racing carts, Volk AB3s, and TE37s, but you could actually get them. Gone were the days of calling the number in the back of some catalog, hoping someone picked up, and hoping they actually shipped you the wheels that you sent them 4,000 of your hard-earned dollars for. With the advent of Katana, you could style your Civic S chassis MR2, etc. by just walking into your local American Tire Depot, picking out some wheels from on the shelf and putting them on your car. As time went on, the tire business grew and outpaced the wheel business, and ultimately a decision was made to shelf the wheel business and let the tire business expand, and expand it definitely did, with American Tire Depot growing to over 100 stores. Then, a whole lot of boring business stuff that y'all don't care about happened, and poof, under the guidance of Ara's son, Vahe Katana Wheels was reborn, like recently like super, super recently. Like you could order a set right now off 3PC US and probably be one of the first in your area to have them. Although people have the old ones, so maybe you wouldn't be the first. So what does Katana do now? Well, they stayed true to their roots, making cost-effective entry-level wheels that are awesome for your daily driver. They launched with nine models. That's a lot of models with plans to expand to many, many more. All of these wheels are sized in 17 to 20 inch for modern sport compact cars. And at this time they come in more conservative sizes, but they may be planning to expand to some larger sizes. Hush, hush there. The best part of these wheels in our opinion is the price point. You can 
can pick up 17s for 169 nice dollars, 18s for 175, and 20s for around 255. You simply can't beat that. Package them with Arroyo tires for your daily or Zestinos if you want the grippy boys, and you've got wheel and tire package for right on around $1,000 shipped straight to your front door. Straight to your door, brother. Now, let's talk about the launch models. First up, the KR01. This is a dual mesh design with a pair of wider spokes and a pair of thinner spokes. These are a great looking wheel in either the gloss black or machine black finish, and we like them a lot in the 20 inch first. The KR02 is going to be a split six spoke style wheel with a lip that comes dual drilled, so you can fit it on basically any car. These come in either silver or glossy black. Next up, the KR03, which is one of my personal favorites from the line and comes in either bronze, satin black, or glossy black. They're a fat five spoke wheel with a step lip and honestly look awesome. I can't wait to see Katana make these in some more aggressive sizes and see them on like S chassis and R chassis. The KR04 and 05 are mesh style wheels with a modern flair, with the KR04 being a wider mesh and the KR05 being a tighter mesh. These are super sporty looking wheels and would look great on like an FG2 Civic. The KR06 behind me is going to be your BBS LM style but with no fake hardware and sharper spokes. This one comes in a bunch of finishes like silver machine, black machine, gunmetal machine, satin black, gloss black, and my personal favorite, the matte bronze. This is another one of my favorites from the line as it just looks great on basically any car. The KR07 and 08 are inspired by the TE. 37 and ZE40 and both look awesome. The KRO8 is super cool because unlike other TE37 style wheels, the spoke profile is a bit rounder, so they look kind of like the OEM GTR Black Edition wheels, one of the best OEM wheels of all time. Wrapping it all up is the KRO9, a directional design that, while not true directional, conveys a sense of motion on your build and looks great rolling. You might be asking, so Jake, what makes these wheels so great? Why do I care? Well, I'll level with you here. The reason we're so excited about these is they offer super, super budget-friendly wheels to new enthusiasts that come in awesome styles and colors for someone looking to customize their daily driver or someone just getting into cars. Katana's been around forever and we're so excited to see them relaunching the brand. They've got some awesome stuff on the horizon that we're probably not allowed to talk about just yet. <coughs> Forge wheels. <coughs> That's some coffee. <laughs> and we can't wait to see what the future holds for these guys. We're super stoked to be able to bring you this brand first. So if you're looking for a set of Katanas or any other wheel, be sure to check out the link in the description to get yours. If you have Katanas on your ride or really any wheels, add it to our gallery to show it off and help others with their fitment. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.